Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Outlast 2. That's right, it's been a little while, but we are not done with the series, so we are back to check it out. And I had to do a little bit of backtracking to actually get back to where we left off on, and I just wanted to show you guys something really quick before we move on that I missed on my first time through. Whoops. Apparently you can open and close these windows when running, which is nice. But uh, yeah, back here... If you remember, I walked past a building that actually had something in it. So, I was walking past here and I heard someone say, help me, uh, on my way to catch up. And so I checked it out, and inside this house was this dead guy, who had died seconds before I came in, apparently. And he left this creepy note. Uh, Dear sweet Ellie, I can't bear what we've done, nor being apart from our little ones, so I'm going over and hoping you forgive me for leaving you behind, and God forgives me this last trespass. I know that they had to be offered up, but I'm all tore up inside and can't live no more. Hopefully the end will come soon and we can be together again, unless God burns me forever for this sin. Until then, I hope you find what woman's comfort you need in the arms of Papa Noth. Yours forever, Tom. Creepy. I'm um, starting to think uh, child sacrifice vibes going on, which makes that uh, kind of roadside barrier thing we saw much creepier. This guy up here. Anyways, uh, let's keep moving forward, scaring the shit out of ourselves here. Yeah, this this thing for thanks thing from last time. Memorial to sacrifice children, maybe. Ooh. All right, let's get this thing. Can I not? Did I lock myself out of this window? What? Uh, can I go in the door now? <laughs> One sec, guys. Sorry, I think I may have accidentally locked myself out of the house there. There we go. Go in this window instead. All right, so... Some doors have deadbolts. Oh, well, that's cool. So we can use that when we're running away. But before we go outside... Oh. Yeah, this is totally jammed from that, uh, barricade. Alright. Let's check this out. Ooh, all in one move. Okay, creepy little hole there. Do we have to crawl through that? Man, I really get confused by the proportions in this game. Like, look how high we are above this chair and stuff. <laughs> like, our dude's like seven feet tall, but then when he crouches, he's like a quarter of a foot tall. Alright. Creepy, creepy, but uh, no scares so far, which I'm okay with. Yeah, we can't see shit. Oh, I also found a... I also found a battery uh, in that room with the dead guy. Ooh. Satan imitates God? I don't know. Can't imitate God? Whoa. Okay. Midwife's Lament. The babe is coming, ready the knife. The babe is coming, knight's midwife. Mother to the enemy stained within, God's creation saved with sin. Hallelujah, stay the storm, no longer must we wait. For come the dawn, the enemy born, to die in temple gate. The babe is growing, her belly swells, the babe is growing, sent from hell. Ezekiel waits, a sharpening his blade. Gather at the gate, we kneel and pray. That doesn't even rhyme. This is a terrible poem. So, I'm guessing that is their fucking horrifying child sacrifice poem. Jesus. 2D flies hanging out in there. Fucking creepy ass. What the fuck is this? Jesus. So I guess this is a game about child sacrifice. Great. What in? Okay. God. Yep. Holy shit. Okay. Well, we. Oh, we found the kids and had to walk through them. That was um a thing.
Oh, jeez. You're, like, out of battery. R to reload? Okay, this is our last battery, I think. Let's check Find real quick. Lin. Nothing matters but Lin. We got the midwife's lament. Alright. More of these creepy dolls. What's with all the dolls? Like, the kids is freaky, but it's making more sense now. What's going on with the dolls? To crawl. To crawl through what? Are you kidding me? How big is your character in this fucking game? Damn. Between the fog and the light levels in this game, I can't see shit. The fuck? Battery. Let's see if we can see who's talking. Oh, this is cool. Okay, hello, I'm out. Peace. Okay, um... I don't know that there's anywhere to hide here. Where'd it go? What the fuck? Is that witchy looking thing? Did it go? Well, that was fucking creepy. Apparently can't go in here. Keep our eyes peeled now. Well, we've met our first monster, you guys. <laughs> Shit. <gasps> Gotta remember, we can go through windows. Okay. Bandages. See, I could use another battery pretty bad right now. Oh, great. Awesome. Okay, so we got two batteries. We got two bandages. The lady seems to be gone. This door is locked. Okay, so I guess we're just leaving. Shit. Nope. Whoops. Sorry. She gone? Yes, okay. She wasn't so scary when she's not chasing us or that threatening. Ugh, another ridiculously tiny hole to crawl through. This is gonna cause issues down the line, I just know it. Or I'm not gonna see one of these tiny Jesus. Crevices. Is that her coming for me? So, can move objects. Oh, cool! Look at all these mechanics we're learning. I love a good tutorial. Uh, oh, I see. So we moved it so we could climb on it. To no. she is right out there. Oh, can't push this while we're crouched though. Oh, we really shouldn't be wasting camera battery right now. I gotta remember when we go inside to turn it off. Is this not what I'm supposed to do? Climb up on this and then... Do I just jump? Oh, okay. It's my bad for trying to use the ladder more. Can't climb up. What is this, like... Assassin's Creed nonsense? Can I... I can't transition over there. I can't jump up. Okay, maybe this wasn't where I was supposed to go. We are supposed to go this way? <clears throat> there we go, okay. I don't know why it didn't work the first three times I did it. Another note. Great. Chapter 8. And you people have made war in the fields of my son, in Eretz Yisrael. My hand laid waste, but my seed firmly set against Babylon and the Assyrian, and against Rome, but fallen to the Moslem, and failed in the Crusades, and betrayed in the time of the publican Pharisees. 
as it was written by Baruch ben Neria in the words of the weeping Jeremiah, the prophets prophesy, uh, prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by lucre and shame, and my people love to have it so. Be thou instructed, O Ezekiel, lest my soul depart from thee, let not thy face be uncircumcised. In thy Jeremiah and thou must not weep not, but tears, thou must weepest even blood. And Sullivan Noth inscribed his name as Ezekiel upon eternity's banner. With iron blade he scratched the word I down the globe of his eye, and it was slit and bled, and his face was washed with his tears and blood. Thus said the true Lord, Now may I show you the truth, for you have cut thine face in covenant to me. And the Lord saith, You have not cut away thine eye, but the scale you took for an eye, and now you may see. Okay, so this guy, Brother Noth, is going by Ezekiel now as of circumcising his eyeball with a knife, whatever the hell. Like, it sounds like he cut an eye, the letter I into his eyeball, and he's insane and thinks he has a covenant with some new lord. Yep, we're going full on apocalypse cult. Oh shit. That was random. Jesus. Oh, hey. Dope. It's like the Grim Reaper out there. Okay. Why would you say that to this crazy person who clearly? Uh. Okay, no camera here. Must be scripted. Before I go out there, can I? Nope. It's just radio. Okay. Still no camera. Was I out of batteries? Nope, just wasted a battery. Great. Thanks, game. Let me in. Okay, this is what we were talking about before. The microphones. Uh... That was close. Oh, sweet Jesus. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm out. Uh, I was going to try and get under the bed. It's not going to happen. Fuck me. No, no, no. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, we're so dead. Uh, Can I get back out the window the way I came? Let me out. Nope. Holy shit. <laughs> that scared me. Okay, so the deadbolt is not a guaranteed way to survive, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Do not rely on the deadbolt. Lesson learned. Alright. I think what we need to do here is this. Close this door. Or window, excuse me. Lock this deadbolt. And then get the fuck under this bed. <laughs> I ain't doing that shit again. He's here somewhere. It's hard to track him at this angle. I think we have to track him to get him to come over here. Maybe not. Maybe we're okay. Oh, you guys. Okay. So he must have seen us before. Maybe I was too loud before. We're gonna just hide in this tall grass like they were saying. Dude who fucked us up before. I think we gotta sneak past him. Oh, 
Shit. Shit. Fuck. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh... Close the door. Lock the door. Hide under the bed. Okay, cool. You can, like, slide under the bed. Oh, sweet Jesus. B for bandage? How do I heal? H? Yes. He's in here with us. Please don't check under the bed. Please don't check under the bed. Please don't check under the bed. He went out the window? That was weird. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Maybe we'll do better if we go out this way. Man, crouch moving in this game is whew, slow going. Can you hide under the outhouse? No. See, this is what I'm talking about with not being able to gauge the size. Okay, we're in the tall grass again. Can't see shit, but I think this is what we're supposed to be doing. I think this is the house that they're outside of. Okay. Feeling a bit safer now. Yeah, they are. They're like right out here. Can we even do anything in this house that I just worked so hard to get into? I guess maybe they're a little further out. Oh no, they're across the way. We're making progress here. I think. Oh, his eyes glow. Cool. Still not totally clear on where I'm supposed to be going right now. Where are we going? Oh! What the fuck was that? What the shit? Oh, oh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna Whoa. We're gonna have to put him down. No, I, I don't want to. Okay, hold him down. Give me the knife. Okay, there's some kind of like mind control shit going on here. It's like LSD in the water. What the fuck? Fuck. Why must we do this terrible life? Oh yeah, it's a cult. Do you hate this world? And do you know what God said? God said on the books, I am that I am, and that's all there is to it. We stand in opposition to the Antichrist. If we hope for freedom. We cannot only try to be like Jesus. We need to be like God. Wow. Okay. God has sent us this woman. Paul. Like a rebellious angel from the sky. Oh shit. Oh shit, they're about to sacrifice my wife. God, I am you. Right. How do I... What's this? We can come back to it. What the fuck? Okay, go, go, go. Key. 
Uh, where's the door? Do we have to go back? Fuck, fuck, fuck. I don't think we're gonna make it. Shit. Oh dear. I have no idea where the fuck I'm supposed to be going. Do we jump up somehow? Is there a door I missed? Uh, what do I do with this fucking key? Oh, Jesus. Sounds like she's still okay up there, so I think they're waiting on us, but goddamn. D is it not backtracking up here? Is there not, like, a door I missed? Jammed. Fuck. God damn it, game. Where do you fucking want me to go here? Creepy whispering. Hey, battery. But no doors. Jesus, man. It's gotta be back upstairs. Maybe we need to backtrack further. It said prison key, though, didn't it? Is there another door here that I didn't see? No? God damn it. Let me in! We need to open one of these, like, cages? Oh! Jesus. There's a woman in here that I completely did not see. I can't help her, though, can I? Nope, can't open her cage with the key. Could go through this obvious door over here that I didn't see with my flashlight on. I have to do some kind of, like, crawling nonsense? There's gotta be a way over there. Um... Here we go. God, it's so hard to see where you're supposed to be- Ooh, fuck! Progressing in this game. I wish I could, bud. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's get out of this prison here, and I think this is probably a pretty good starting po uh, stopping point Excuse me for this episode. Um, sorry, I know it was a bit of a slower one, just trying to get familiar with all the mechanics and how they have us progress in this game, but uh, I'm sure it'll get better going forward. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below so that I know, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.